Shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises and glory and honors due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, our elders. All right. Much love to all you brethren out there. Um, you know, it's me, me to Zion with um, Elder Bishop Ibad once shalom. again. Shalom. All right. Bringing out the words of prophecy, man. And this is beautiful. You know, matter of fact, the Heavenly Father and His, his Son, whose name is Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, he spread it what? He spread it the good news, the gospel, which is what? The good news. Mm -hmm. Like the um the book, the gospel, the books of the gospels, like what Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, right? Yeah. Which were disciples, some of the disciples of Yahweh of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and they wrote the accounts of Yahweh Shai, right? And they're spreading what? The good news. Towards who? The Israelites, the elect of the nation of Israel. That's right. Starting with the elect, but ultimately all of Israel, because at the end of the day, what? All, all Israel, Israel shall be shall saved. Be saved. Yep. But we understand that the majority of our people have to die. They got to die by pain. They got to feel that pain. Yep. Right? But at the end of the day, all Israel shall be saved. And this is the good news. And in order for us to have our kingdom, this kingdom here, the so-called white man's kingdom, has to be erased. And we're living in the time of the erasing of, and by the way, in the Bible, the so-called white man is known as the Edomites. All right. Esau, Edom. You read Esau, Idumia, Edom. That's the so-called white race. You're not going to find the word white race in the Bible. Neither are you, neither will you find the word black race in the Bible. Every nationality on the planet earth have their proper names only in the scriptures. And if you want to know who they are, you come to the prophets of the Heavenly Father. We'll let you know who's who. That's right. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. But salvation is coming to who? Israel. The Jews. Was that an axe? I don't know. You know, salvation. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. is, and who are the Jews? The Judah is the head tribe of the nation of Israel. All Israel, man. So we're living in beautiful times. That's why you hear about all you're hearing about now. For those of you that are watching anyway. Because you're gonna, because we're coming to find out that the majority of you so the average American don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> they don't know shit from Shinola. Yeah. Right? These hunkies don't all they care about is Taylor Swift. You dumb yeah. niggas, y'all worrying about P. Diddy getting locked up and all this. All that is yeah. bullshit, man. Yeah, all that. We got some real deal shit coming down the pike. Yeah. Y'all worrying about the wrong things. Yeah. You know? Yeah, things like World War Three, you know. Going to Martial it. Martial law. That's right. You know, famines. Famine, a, fa a great famine is coming. Yeah. Matter of fact, as far as I was around this silly ass Puerto Rican motherfucker, I was at this diner mm -hmm. earlier today. He had this simple ass Puerto Rican guy in there, mm -hmm. right? So he, you know, you know, he, he act like he woke. You know, he's like, yeah, man, something about to happen. Uh, yeah. uh, when all, all, all what he say? He said, when all hell breaks loose, he going to the mountains because he knows how to survive out in the mountain. He knows how to hunt. Yeah. I thought, oh, yeah. So what, what do you be hunting? Man, anything, man. I be eating squirrel. I eat rabbit. You know what I mean? I, I, I whatever move, man. I'm eating it. Show you he's gone, yeah. right? He's a gone. That's a gone sob. But he understands that shit is about to go haywire out here. Yeah. You know, and things about to things about to go go bonkers, so to speak. So I'm gonna start with this scripture right here. Mm -hmm. Um, this is Luke. 21 at okay well you read it um, that's, what, that's what you was at no what you got you're going to 20, 20, 21 I was, I was going to start probably 25 you start start up um okay. at um start above start at the fifth verse okay <clears throat> luke 21 and 5 says and as some and as some spake of the temple how it was adorned with goodly stones and gifts he said as for these things which ye behold, the days will come in the which there shall not be left one stone upon another. Right, because the disciples are showing him all the the, the the beauty of the temples. Right. Those buildings. The architecture. The, you know, yeah. the beauty, you know, yeah. how, how they were adorned. Yeah. yeah. And Yahweh Shai told them, and at the time, you know, it went over their head. Mm -hmm. Right? He said, look, the time is going to come when not one stone is going to be on top of another. In other words, it's all going to be a, a be destroyed. How, what's the word? Obliterated. Obliterated. Yeah. yeah. Obliterated. Or, um, you know, be or just like or raised. A raised. Right. The yeah. word raised means raised means what to just to, to level, throw, level, yeah. throw yeah. down. 
-hmm. Like when you erase something, right? So the Lord is like, look, don't, don't glory in that. Shit gonna get ugly out. What, what did he mean by that? That was a future prophecy of now mm -hmm. over there in Israel. Because yeah. where were they? They were on the land of Israel. The real That's people, because right. the real people that belong in Israel, you so-called blacks, you Latinos and Native Americans, man. That's our land. That's not the white man's land. That's, right. That's why since he's been, that is why since his red ass been over there, it has been nothing but turmoil. Yep. And, and and chaos and yeah. death and destruction. Yeah. And, and they, now the world is tired of them people over there calling themselves Israelis doing all this shit and getting away with it. Now they're like, yeah. look, man, something has to be done. Right. And now they're getting touched. They get they're about <laughs> to get really, yeah, get, really touched. get touched. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's coming down the pike. Mm -hmm. And the ultimate touch is gonna be what? Those nuclear missiles. That's why the Lord said there shall be no stone upon another. Because it's gonna be total and now that shows you that that land is going to be destroyed. Totally, yeah, yeah, exactly. Obliterate. In case y'all wondering what's the future of that place, yeah. we're reading it to you right now. Our Lord and Savior told it to the disciples. Yeah. Not yeah. one stone, because right now in Israel, you, you still have old buildings that date back right. back 2,000 years ago. Peter, still standing. And Peter's house is still up. Right. So you're right. Yeah. And certain other places, that, you the, know. Parts of the temple still Right. Up. Yeah. But, and even the new things that are built over there. All that is going to be level by way of nuclear missiles. Yeah. Okay. So um, it says. Uh, yeah, go ahead. In the which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Right. Meaning what? It's going to be total, totally destroyed. And what what can do that? Nuclear <laughs> missiles. Yeah. And them Arab nations, the Lord's going to have it to where they're going to send missiles on that place. Yeah. Because it's prophecy. And it has to happen because that land has to be cleansed by fire because sure. we're not going to inherit that land in, 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 in its present like state. It's defiled. State. It's defiled. Yeah, it's totally Matter defiled. of fact, the scripture tell you that it's defiled by what? The, the inhabitants thereof. Yeah, if you if you can find them scriptures yeah. with Michael Shah. Because that place is defiled, man. Put defiled by inhabitants and put your know, KJV, he'll come right up. Right? So I'll read on while you're finding that. So it says, it says, um, Verse 7, Luke 21 to 7. And you got it? Okay. Beautiful. Um, let me see. Um, let's start up. Let me see. Con. There's a lot of me. Yeah, man. Hey, so, you know, like like we said, man, we, you know, you know we, I was talking to this brother before we turned the um, camera on, man. All the hell. I mean, we still catching hell, but we understand the hell. See, when we catch hell, we understand it. Yeah. That's why, I mean, you get mad, but then we catch ourselves quick because we said this is spiritual yeah yeah you know the lord we, whatever the lord brings on yeah. us we understand right. that we deserve it yeah and we also understand the lord will see us through it <laughs> all right yeah. all right that's right when the lord spank it's like a father when a father spanked the shit out of his kids <laughs> then after they crying and boo and then he comes back and talks to you yeah. and tells you why you got your ass spanked look son mm -hmm. the reason why i came down on you see, I, I, mm -hmm. remember, you i don't want to do it you know, what was the old city that they it's going to hurt me more than it hurts you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you ain't the one getting specked. Right? But we understand yeah. what he meant. In other right. words, that he wants you to learn. Yeah. All right? Understand. Right. Now, a parent, is, a parent that beat... See, a nigga woman is good for that. She'll beat the shit out of you and just beat you. That's mm -hmm. demonic. You got to let the kid right. know why you're getting beaten so he won't do it again. Right. How else would he learn? So that's the Lord to us. He spanked us, and he still spanked... We're going to be spanked until we saved out of here, man. First, first of all, like the scripture says, Babylon the Great, which is America, this is not our rest. So when you're in a place that's not your rest, you're going to catch all kind of hell. Right. You're going to go through turmoil. Yeah. When you think shit is... Hey, hey, tell me if I'm wrong, man. Hmm. Whatever shit seemed like it's too good, yeah. you know something's around something's that corner right. waiting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Because we're in hell right now. This is hell. A lot of y'all thinking that y'all you're going to die and go somewhere. It's called, this is hell. Yeah. There's no such thing as a place where you burn forever. That's make-believe shit, man. That's not scriptural. But anyway, back yeah. into the topic. Read on scripture. Read the scripture, bro. Uh, like you said, um, you made a point a second ago about the um, um, how a father doesn't, he doesn't want to beat you. You know, he doesn't want to punish you and he doesn't take no pleasure in it, right? That's right. So this is Ezekiel. Let me see. Beautiful. Yeah. 
I lost the verse lucky. Like um, oh, it's all right. It's all right, man. Damn it. Hey, hey brother, hey, so there you go. We talking about Satan, right? Hey, yeah. you know, Satan mad. We bring these, bringing the word of truth out. You know, it's all about the words of Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. The words that we speak is the words from the scriptures. You know? 33 and 11, okay. You got it? Yep, Ezekiel 33 and 11. It says, Say unto them, as I live, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the Lord, and who's the them? This is the Lord speaking. Who's the them? That's talking about the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Who are the Israelites today? You so called Negroes, you Latinos, you Native Americans. You are God's chosen people. You are the Israelites. And then don't forget, we have our brethren that are mingled or scattered amongst the nations that may look like the respected nations that they live amongst, but they are truly Israel by way of their father's line. Because your nationality is determined by your father and his father, not your mother. Right. The, the All right? Seed, the seed is what determines, you know, or the, the line. The seed. Women don't carry seed. That's right. Men carry seed. Or and show sperm. you how. Huh? Or another word for seed, modern day. It's called sperm, you know? Sperm, seed. Your nuts between your legs is a seed, right? Where do sperms come out of? Your nuts, right? Mm -hmm. I don't mean to be super graphic, but hey, yeah. that's the way you got to learn, right? But now show how backwards and crazy this fucking society is. You hear nigga women talking about, yeah, that's my seed over there. Yeah. Bitch, you got yeah. seed. Yeah. I mean, you look like you got seed. A lot of these bitches look, look like men any old way, <laughs> but you ain't got no seed. That's right. The seed comes from the oh, man. man. Right. All right. Put that in your pipe and shove it up your twat. But anyway, go ahead, bro. It's Ezekiel 33 and 11. It says, Say unto them, as I live, save the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. Right. In other words, the wicked of our people. Right? Because yep. the Lord be. Hey, 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 matter of fact, Pastor Rakai just did a show. I just saw a show he just did. Mm -hmm. Talk about a lot of motherfuckers dropping out, dropping out the wrists, and the Lord taking the niggas out left and right. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. But the Lord, when it comes to Israel, the Lord has no pleasure in what? No pleasure in the death of the wicked. Right, because what is death? That's that's the wage the, the wages wage of sin is death. That's right. Right? And sin is what? Transgression of the laws. Our mm -hmm. people love not following the ways of the Heavenly Father. They take right. pleasure in that shit. Our people love eating pork. I just mentioned that Puerto Rican guy today, yeah. which yeah. the Puerto Ricans come from what? The tribe of Ephraim, of the nation of Israel. That's right. And Ephraim means what? I am fruitful. This nigga talking about when shit break down, he going to eat all the squirrels. Because he's gone. He, he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. And if I was to say, look, man, you ain't supposed to be eating no squirrels, it would have been a big old argument. Yeah. You know how hard-headed Jake is. How rebellious. No, <laughs> man. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So, no, cause, matter of fact, it was another chick, another Ephraimite chick, Sitting next to me, an older chick, she said to him, I ain't eating that. No, I ain't eating that. Ooh, right? Check that out. Yeah. Then he yeah. goes, Well, this is how he justified it. Show you how gone he was. <laughs> well, you eat chicken, don't you? But he doesn't know that. But see, he's, he ag he's ignorant to the laws the of the, he the dietary laws of the Heavenly Father. That's right. You know? She's like, but, but, she, but she said, I don't care. I'm going to eat my chicken. Don't give me no damn. I guess, <laughs> cause he, was, I guess he was going to go to, um, <clears throat> he was planning on going on a trip to Peru. Mm -hmm. And then she brought out that over there in Peru, a lot of them Jakes over there, a lot of them um, Peruvians eat guinea pigs. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, our people are gone, man. All the yeah. tribes, man. Yeah, they are. How the fuck you eat? I, I, used to, I used to have a fucking pet guinea pig. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. whistling. <laughs> yeah. You want to eat that? Oh, man. But our people are, hey, my yeah. people are destroyed. For the lack of knowledge. Yep. Go ahead, bro. So it says, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way. Right. And that wicked and ain't talking about Esau. You know, you know Esau is known as the wicked. Right. It ain't talking about this mother. It ain't talking about Esau. It's talking about the wicked of the nation of Israel. The right. two-thirds, the wicked of our people. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? The elect, we were wicked at one time. And through the yeah. spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we turn from our wicked way. That's right. Right? Two thirds of our people are not going to turn from their wicked way. That's why they're going to be destroyed. That's right. Go ahead. It says, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. And live. And live. All right? Yeah. Now read it again, bro. It says, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. And live. 
and live through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And if we're and if we're found worthy, live all the way until the chariots. Lord willing. You know? Okay. Make it to when the chariots come. That the only ones that's gonna make it to the chariots are the ones that are faithful unto death. Yep. And we pray we're a part of that number. Go ahead, brother. Those who are uh, predetermined from the beginning of the, of the world, you know? That's right. It says, turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die? And, what, and what are, what's the evil ways? Following other gods. Yep. Following whatever the hell you are. No, I choose to follow. I, I, I choose to do this. Do what thou, as thou wilt. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and if you call yourself um, reading the Bible, you read it according to Whitey, mm -hmm. which is totally wrong. You're worshiping the white image of, of, of Serapis Christus Caesar Borgia, a.k.a. White Jesus. Y'all yep. yeah, can't even... 2020... It's almost 2025, man. Yeah, 2024 just came and went. They still worship. And you mother effers still ain't get it. Right? You're, you're, more, you're, you're more wicked than ever. Come on. Every day... And hell, every day you hear about a new... A, new, a brand new Israelite group yeah. coming up with some new madness, man. Yeah. That's just showing our people are getting more wicked, man. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So it says, um, turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Yeah, why you want to die? But y'all love death. All yeah. right. <laughs> you, you fight. <laughs> y'all love death. And, 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 and how the Lord say? Now, a lot of y'all might say, yeah, y'all reading that scripture. The Lord, the Lord is saying to you now. Yeah. We're reading it. Yeah. And the Lord been saying that long before we came into the truth. Pleading. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Um, that was it on that one? That was it on that one, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Luke 21 to 7. It says, mm -hmm. and they asked him, Master, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? Because now, really, they, they understood about the destruction. Right. Because remember, they were looking for the kingdom of heaven then. They thought the kingdom of heaven yeah. was going to be established then. In their time, yeah. But a lot of pro a lot, oh, heck of a lot of prophecies, yeah. prophecies yeah. Had, to had to happen. Right? Yeah. But they always asked the Lord, when? When? Yeah. So they, were they going yeah. on for asking? No. 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 Matt, they were hastening hasten in the day. Remember the yeah. disciple asked the Lord, look, Lord, um, we've forsaken everything. Uh, yeah. What well, shall, shall we, we what, shall, what are we going to get? What shall we have there for him? And you, and you better believe the Lord was pleased to let him know. Yeah. The Lord didn't curse him. The Lord didn't say, get thee behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. The Lord told him, you know, what are we, what was in store for us? I'll put it to you like this. Whatever you consider rich in this world is super impoverished compared to what we're going to get. Yeah. The, eyes have, the eyes have not seen nor ears yeah, have heard, yeah. man. What the Lord have prepared for them that love him. You know? What the Lord have prepared for them that love him. That's right. You have something he's going to bring out? If you're looking for it, I'll read, I'll read on it. Let me know when you have it. All right, come on. Come on. So it says, um, and they asked him saying, Master, but when shall these things be? What things? They're asking about the end, meaning the destruction. Because who was ruling at that time? The Roman Empire. The same so-called white man that's ruling now. This is the Roman Empire. This is Babylon the Great, but it's also the Roman Empire that w that came back from the dead, right? According to the prophecies. So it says, um, so they wanted to know when the destruction was going to come and when we're going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, take heed that ye be not deceived. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed. And we've seen that, man, we've seen that more and more now. Yeah. You got dudes in, in, um, in, in the, like, call themselves Israelites that deify themselves. Mm -hmm. We had one before that's dead, Jermaine yeah. Grant, a.k.a. the, 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 the y'all call, so call, call him the God sent comforter. Mm -hmm. Which I don't know who he's comforting right now. I'm taking a dirt nap. Right? <laughs> yeah. God deified that joker. And the Lord took his ass out. Now mm -hmm. you got a new demon yep. called Nate that you deifying. Yep. All right? And they're deceiving a whole lot of jokers. Mm -hmm. 
It says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. Now the Lord is telling the disciples that there's a prophecy. Showing you this right here in itself shows you reincarnation. Yep. Because <laughs> that didn't happen that during their time back then. Yeah, <laughs> They're gonna yeah. come back and see. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they're back now. They're back now in this time. You this know, that's why you joke. Y'all been talking about y'all know the Bible. Y'all know yeah. shit. You can't y'all first of all, you ain't you're not you don't have you're not blessed the with the spirit the of your of, of the yeah. ice salve yeah. of the spirit of your how about shimmy I was shy. That scripture right here we just read right show you that the disciples are going to come back in that time. Because the Lord warned them, yeah. be not deceived. It says, um, go, or go not after them. Go ye not af therefore after them. So we're not going to go follow Nate. We're not going to go. Well, we didn't follow. We cursed out God sent comforter. And we cursed out Nate. Yeah. All right? Yeah. From the apostles on down. Yep. But when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and that's all you're hearing about in the news, rumors of wars rumors and, of war, and yeah. actual wars, because missiles mm -hmm. are being dropped on Russia and Ukraine, mm -hmm. and, there, and there's mm -hmm. fighting over there in the Middle East. Middle East. Go into it, I bud. You got over it. there in our homeland, our homeland, Israel. That's you know, right. That's right. There's war going on right now, you know? And the rumors of wars are, are things like China invading um, Taiwan, mm -hmm. you know? That's right. Oh, um, we're, oh, Vladimir Putin lately, the past week, been saying basically, look, he says, I realize that all these missiles that these guys got, they got it from NATO and the Americans, basically yeah. from the NATO right. allies. Yep. And we take that as a direct hit from NATO. Right. So therefore, we're going to move on. So this yeah. thing, man, this thing is going to... Y'all worrying about some fucking P. Diddy and Taylor yeah, Swift? That's World War III right now. All right? Now. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all worried about generational wealth? No, and America's about to be... Um, say the word again for me. Bl obliterated. Uh, obliterated. Yeah. Uh, say the same for me, bro. Ob obliterated. I can't, I can't say it more <laughs> better. Okay? Yeah. So, back in the scripture. Yeah, hey, let me know if you got scriptures. Let me know. Okay. So, it says... um, You're still in Luke? Yes. So verse 9, it says, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, and there's nothing but, all you hear about is commotions, all throughout, even here in America. Mm -hmm. You got you got the commotion with the damn political shit. Yeah. And I was made a, I was talking to this brother, I was talking to the brother before we went on the air, mm -hmm. but um, this dude, you never heard that shit ever in American history. <laughs> a, a, a former president who's running for presidency, yeah had two attempted um, homicides against him. And nobody takes it to heart. Everybody's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever. You know? Mm -hmm. That's how much y'all want this dude dead. So now my thing is this. So the way y'all, the way the people are now, suppose he wins. <laughs> As a matter of fact, um, one of them talking heads I've been listening to on the radio, he made a point. He says, according to their, their laws and their constitution and shit, mm -hmm. if the government get too crazy, the people have a right to bear arms and go yeah, against it. Yep. So they're talking. So they, that, that, that civil, civil war, war is yeah. that man, the seasoning. Yeah, and it's, war, and it's yeah. scriptural because in the Bible it says, e oh, by the way, America is also known as Egypt in the Bible. The Egyptians shall fight against the Egyptians. That prophecy didn't happen in ancient Egypt. That prophecy is talking about the new Egypt where we are now. Modern day Egypt. That's why in the back of your one dollar bill you got the damn pyramid back there. Mm -hmm. That's why you got the eye, the all seeing eye back. That goes back to Egypt, Egypt. man. Yep. That's why in Washington D.C. you got the obelisk, the Washington, obelisk. the yeah. Washington Monument, which is an Egyptian obelisk facing that that um that body of water that leads over to the Lincoln Memorial. Right. That's supposed to be a reminiscent of the River Styx. Right. No, is it River Styx? One of them, one of them rivers, man. Yeah, I think it is. River but it's all it's, it all goes with that mysticism yep. going back to Egypt, man. So America, so yes, America is spiritually known as the New Egypt, man. Mm -hmm. And and then Revelation eleventh chapter tells you is known as Bab is known as um, um Sodom and Egypt. Egypt. Mm -hmm. And we know why. We already know why it's known as Sodom. <laughs> yeah. Because homosexuality runs this place. You can't talk about the small hats and you can't talk about the sodomites. 
The alphabet people. Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> America is spiritually Sodom in Egypt, man. Mm -hmm. They're pushing. They're pushing that Sodom. That Sodomite ways on your children. The teacher yep. telling little boys to chop their nuts off. Yep. If you want, they telling little boys if you want to chop your nuts off, you ain't gotta tell your parents. Come to us, and yeah. we'll make sure. Yep. The same way they told the girls back in our time. Remember, when we were coming up in high school. Mm -hmm. They'll tell the chicks that they get pregnant, and they don't want their parents to know about it. Come see us, we'll and we'll we'll help, help you get that abortion. abortion. Yeah. And your mommy and daddy ain't got no nothing about it. Mm -hmm. That's that's, that's satanic, that's wicked. man. That's wicked. That's satanic. It's highly wicked. Yeah. And you people are so dumbed down from all the bad food you're eating and the water. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all took the jump shot, right? <laughs> so y'all even suit. Yeah. So when all, so when sh outrageous shit like that happens, there's never no backlash. There's never no outrage. Because you know, no your, your, brains, your brains are dim. Yeah. It's running on dim. You know, you know, how could I, well, how could I relate that with? Like you got like, like a fucking lawnmower. Yeah. You got a lot kinds of more lawns, and the gas, the gasoline gets very low. Yep. It's a sputtering. Yeah. 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 That's you quit. people. Yeah. yeah, you two people, man. Y'all about to quit, man. Sputtering, yeah. You some sputtering <laughs> idiots. That's right. You some That's sputtering right. morons. That's right, man. That's why the government is getting away with stuff on your ass. But the Lord got to where you have some people out there, like, you know, like a lot of the militia, yeah. those, those militia types, you know, those survivalists out there. Yeah. That sees the madness, cause the Lord's yeah. gonna use them to push this shit off, man. Yep, the NRA, car carrier. The, the, there's <laughs> different organizations out there, man. Hell, MAGA. Let's let's call yeah. let's call the ones we hear about all yeah. the time. Yeah, MAGA. You got real, you got real dudes that's with that MAGA shit, yeah. and then and they're ready to catch wreck. Mm -hmm. A lot of these guys are tired of looking at black people. All right. Brother, what kind of American are you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Remember that movie, Civil War? Oh, yeah, Civil War. Bring it yeah. in. Yeah, what kind of American Civil, are you? What kind of American are That's you? That's real shit. That ain't something. I mean, the movie was horrible, but that right. was some real shit that was bringing in. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Oh, was I reading? Yeah, I can, I can pick up if you want. Um, it, it says, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. So we're not terrified because, and we understand these are the prophecies. Yep. And why did the Lord say, be not terrified? Because one might say, okay, yeah, we hear about it on the news, but it ain't affecting me no way. Mm -hmm. The time is coming where it's going to affect, affect this you. place. Yeah, There's some ugly shit down the pike that's going to happen out here. Oh yeah, And when they do happen, mm -hmm. the Lord is telling his men, all right, his true yeah. prophets, his servants, right. don't be troubled by these things. Right, because these things must come to pass. For, be for us to get to the kingdom, for us, you know, to be delivered, you know, hopefully, you know, if we're part of that number, these things have to have to come come to pass. Yeah, mosquitoes. That's right. They have to happen, you know. That's right. Because it's prophecy, you know. The Lord said his word doesn't go out void. So if he, if he spake it, it has to come to pass. Mm -hmm. So it says, um, for these things must first come to pass. But the end is not by and by. The end is not here yet. Like what you said earlier when the, disciple, the disciples are asking him, like in the book, uh, Acts, the first chapter, mm -hmm. Lord, will thou now at this time restore again the kingdom again to Israel? Right? Because they they wanted the kingdom to, to, to come right then and there. But, but it wasn't time yet, you know? That's right. You know? The end is not by and by. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. It says, then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation. Nations are going to rise against nation. Mm -hmm. You can't get around that, man. Yep. You got this guy, Gerald Salente, talking about um, over there in Kingston, they're going to have a little rally mm -hmm. of, of promoting peace. <laughs> there shall be no, no peace, peace, man. When they shall say peace and safety. Matter of fact, the scripture says, when they shall say peace and safety, and then sudden, then destruction, sudden destruction cometh upon, upon them. That's right. There ain't going to be And no there's peace. another scripture that says they say peace, peace, and there is no peace. Mm -hmm. The Lord is mustering up the host right now, man. Right. The host of the battle. Yep. This is beautiful times. This everyday shit that we going, it's going to stop, man. They, it's not going to be business. Real soon, it's not going to be business as usual out here. Proceed on. You got you'll, you'll be getting something? Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'll proceed till you get it. Um, it says, but when they shall hear of wars and commotions, okay. be not terrified. 
You got it? Yep. Come on with it. Um, this is Matthews uh, 10 and 34. It says, think not that I am come to send peace go, on earth. You can go into it. Huh? So this this is our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. He's saying, think not that he came to send peace on earth, right? Because that's what this, this world teaches. This world teaches that the Lord is all love, you know, that he, he's only about peace. He's coming back to do damage. He's coming back to destroy and to kill. That's right. The scripture said, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. You know, that's talking about the son, you know, the son of the most high. His name is Yahweh Shai in the ancient Hebrew. So he says, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And the sword represents what? Death, Death and destruction. destruction. You know, he came not to send peace, but a sword. Mm -hmm. We're living in the time of what? The sword. Yeah, great judgment. Because we're living great in a time judgment. now. Was that um the the um prophecy? Because we all understand the about the Illuminati, the, the international bankers, the Illuminati, right. whatever you want to call them, mm -hmm. right? The elites. Yeah. That they really believe they're about to bring in their new world order, and you see they're cutting off all their lesser luminaries. Oh yeah. Puff Daddy was a major lesser That's illuminary. Yeah. Because what was his job? To to, to turn you Negroes and the Latinos mainly, the Native Americans. Into fucking monsters, basically. Yeah. All right. Pushing that, um, you're selling drugs mm -hmm. because who was, who was Puff Daddy's biggest masterpiece, Biggie Smalls? Yeah. What was most of Biggie? If you listen to any Biggie album, what was that? That what was that cockroach pushing? Selling, selling drugs, drugs, adultery. Yeah. All right. Just being a total demon, mm -hmm. justifying their wickedness. Yep. Like I won that one song. I want to dedicate this, dedicate this to my neighbor who called the cops on me. Oh, yeah. Because I'm out there selling drugs right. to support my, my baby. Daughter, my daughter, yeah. Like, in other words, it's righteous to sell drugs as long as you're taking care of your baby. No. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, a drug dealer deserves death. That's a witch. Oh, yeah. And in the Bible, it tells you, suffer not a witch to live. That's right. And on they did, a drug dealer destroys your, 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 your fucking name. Remember, we grew up in that yeah. shit, that whole crack era. Yep. All right. That was the yeah, second. the white man brought it there, but you niggas peddled it. Yeah, that was like the second way because in the seventies and stuff, they the had dope, that, that dope era, the, the dope era, heroin era. I remember there was one lady when I was a little boy. She was a dope head, but I didn't know what the fuck a dope head was, and she was pretty as hell. Mm -hmm. I remember these niggas was bullying me. I was like six or seven. They were bullying me. Then she got on. She started cursing me out for getting bullied, mm -hmm. which would show you they don't make them like that no more, boy. <laughs> yeah, but. I came to find out she was a fuck. She was on heroin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would call her Herona. Herona. You know? <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So verse 35, Matthews 10 and 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. Right. And then, and how does the Lord do that? A brother learned this truth, comes in, and then his own family members, his father will hate him. Mm -hmm. His mother will hate him. Hell, if a sister sure. comes, a sister comes in and follows the men of the Lord, watch our shows, and you know, yeah. and try to teach other sisters about it. Yeah, she's hated by her peoples. Right. Talk, talk what, shit about. And, what, and, and, and like the Lord said, they don't hate you; they hate me. That is within you. That's right. So, what you say? They talk. You say something. Yeah, that's all right. They talk I mean, shit about they talk you. Shit about you. Yeah. And, 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 and all you back. brothers, man, don't, don't 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 be dismayed, man. Hey, look. A lot of y'all, you know, you might go home and might see your, your mommies and them and your, right? Even I, even me, I see my mom every now and again, once yeah. in a blue moon, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I understand that they hate her. They hate they me. They hate it, yeah. <laughs> they, might, they might smile in your face mm -hmm. and talk about the good old days, and all, which them days weren't even that good. They were satanic, but, you know, yeah. because they were old days, it was good, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. But behind their mind, this nigga bugged out. Yeah. Yeah, your uncles, everybody talk shit about you. Yeah. You know, and and they hate you. They hate the Lord that's within you. That's what they hate. That's right. Go on. It says for I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother. That's right. You have a sister come in, and her mother telling her, "Why are you why are you wasting your time listening to them crazy guys? You should leave that man. Them guys are crazy." Or she might be with a guy who's in the truth yeah. that actually told her that he's in the truth. Because I, I me personally, I don't do that. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be with a chick for four years, and she don't know what the, I don't tell her. And if she knows, she keeps it to herself. Don't bring it up. We ain't talking about that. 
don't ask me about my business. Even if even if they even, even if the bitch finds out, yeah, you know, I I saw you on a video. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Cuz my our attitude is bitch, if you don't like it, you can leave cuz technically yeah. we really we don't want you around no way. Yeah. Really? <laughs> kind of, no, 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 really real talk, brother, cuz this point in the get in, in this point right now, everything around us is fucking dead weight, man. Yeah. Especially if they're a demon that's not in this thing. Yeah. And we know these women ain't going to be in this. No. We ain't, we're not stupid like them other camps. Right. All right, we're men of wisdom. If they ask anything, they ask. Yeah, you can ask me at the house, but it's, it's, it's as far as it goes. <laughs> yep. But anyway, go ahead, bro. It says, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. That's right. And we're living proof of that. We see that whether it be with your woman, family members, your children. Yep. Just because you got a child don't mean he gonna come into the truth, brothers. Don't get it, you know? I mean, if you have a child that does, you say, you know, you know, about shim, you was shy. Yeah. You know, you pray that he stays in as well as yourself. Yeah. But don't be all crazy that your yeah, my son just don't want to do. He want to smoke weed. All right. Yeah. Well, he's in the world. Yeah. That's what worldly people do. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Well, that was the, the point on it, I guess. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go back here. We're going to finish out on this. We won't make this too, too long. All right. It says, um, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. World War III. That's right. All these great kingdoms, especially USA and Russia, and all the other kingdoms that come in between. Mm -hmm. The beast nations, NATO, those NATO nations, yep. is going to come to a point where they're going to come against America. Mm -hmm. Because they're going to say, look, y'all drawing us into the war with Russia. Russia, yes. matter of fact, they made that statement recently. Mm -hmm. They're like, look, y'all way over there. Yep. Russia's in our backyard. Right. Yeah, you know? So, <laughs> so we see that prophecy yeah. of the beast shall hate the war coming up, man. Yeah, because Russia is... Um they, they have dealings with Cuba and with Venezuela, you know? Yeah, and, 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 and yeah, show you that they got they got part, they're over here on the Western Hemisphere. That's right. Yeah. But over there in Europe, mainly, because remember, that's NATO. That's a major shit. Mm -hmm. And Russia's like, yo, y'all fucking with me, you know? I heard a, um, um, uh, a newscast. I meant to follow up on it, but they, they basically were saying there were um, nuclear subs, you know, mm -hmm. Russian nuclear subs. On the East Coast and the West Coast. So showing you that what? Those are them war games. Yep. The rumors of wars. Wars and rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. So we hear. Them prophecies are taking place, man. It says, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. We, yep. Matter of fact, it's to the point where they even got websites showing you earthquakes happening right now. Yeah. You know, many. Yeah, they give you the magnitude. Right. And showing you, and then again, going back to the time of the disciples back 2,000 years ago, mm -hmm. they didn't have technology to let them know. Like they're in Jerusalem. They're not going to know that if there was a, an earthquake in Turkey, they ain't going to know about it. Or if right. it was an earthquake up right. in Britannia or somewhere right. else, you, you, they wouldn't know. Right. Now with all this technology, you now know, we know about, how, now we see uh, earthquakes in diverse places. Yeah. We know instantly. We know it instantly. Mm -hmm. Right? It says... And famines, meaning lack of bread, and that's not hard to see. They did a they did a test run during the um, lockdown, yeah. And told you people to go, y'all can't go to the supermarket until after nine o'clock, mm -hmm. seven o'clock, like Walmart. At yeah. seven o'clock, only old people can go. They yeah. had you, they got you people trained, boy. <laughs> yeah, social distancing. And then when you get to the market, all all the your favorite meats that you like is all gone. Mm -hmm. Hell, that's when motherfuckers decide to drink water. Every other day, they drink soda. <laughs> you couldn't even find no water. Everything is gone. No toilet paper. So so <laughs> a famine hitting this place is not hard to see. No, not at all. And then you have these so-called elites buying up all the um, the farmland, buying out all these farmers, destroying the crops. Destroying the crops. Dest destroying the, um, the livestock. To bring in what? To create an artificial famine. To bring in a famine, which is a famine, artificial or not. Right. It's a famine, and that's, that's going with the prophecy. That's right. The Lord put it on their in their spirit to, to do that. To do that, yep. To bring to, to to do His will. And pestilences, the disease. Every day you hear about a new disease. Yep. <laughs> the empoc, 
Cause you can't call it monkey anymore. Oh yeah. Cause you do, could you offend? Cause you offend the monkeys, <laughs> right? You gotta call it the impacts now. Yeah. Right. And and more and much much more. Yeah. And a lot of these diseases they say is carried by uh, mosquitoes and yeah. carried by birds and all this. Yeah. They're the ones that put it in them. A mosquito didn't just come up one day. Oh, I got oh shit, I got a disease, yo. I'm a, I'm a right, right. <laughs> oh dengue fever. Ha <laughs> ha. That was given. This devil did that, man. By design, he, yep. he's a wicked scientist. Yep. All right. He's a Frankenstein scientist. Yeah, yeah they create the, these the, these pestilences, these diseases, and they use these insects to carry it out to get the sting up the the populace. Then they had they have this thing where they fucking spraying up the area, like in New York, they was spraying yep. over here in Connecticut and Massachusetts, they were they spraying mm -hmm. that shit. They spraying the number those chemicals Chemical. will destroy you. Yep. That's some cancer causing <laughs> shit that they spraying out there, man. Yeah, it is. And you people just sitting there, oh, let it rain, let it rain on me. Let that bitch sing that song, rain on me. Yeah, yeah. Right? Shanti. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a satanic song. <laughs> but anyway, um, it says, and, fear, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Chariots. Yep, and chariots. And chariot sightings. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, and the signs of heaven. You know, the blood moons, the super moons. You know, eclipses. Gun. That's all it goes into it. Also, you know, in that verse that you wanted was in what verse in twenty one originally? Uh, that was twenty five. You said. I think it's twenty five. Let me see. No, twenty six. Yeah. You can read twenty. If you want to read twenty five and twenty six, okay. If you read and break it down, and we can close it out on that one. Yep. Oh, it goes right into it too. Gun. Same what I was just saying in the last verse. That's yes, right. Luke twenty one and twenty five, and there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, right? Like going into like I, I just said, you know, you have solar eclipse, lunar eclipses. I think last night was a partial lunar eclipse. Cause you got you got yeah. what's called the harvest moon right now. Yeah, the harvest moon. Yep. Which you might not be able to see it because it's cloudy in these parts. Mm -hmm. But you had a partial a lunar eclipse. These things are for science. Solar eclipses. Yep. Shooting stars, falling stars, asteroids, all that shit. Those are signs, man. Yep. Go ahead. It says, um, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. The sunspots. Yep. That, sunspots. That, that affect your radio waves and shit. Mm -hmm. Go on. And upon the earth, distress of nations. They're, these people are distressed. Right now over there in uh, um, Lebanon, they are distressed. Oh, yeah. Israel just sent them some, um, what do you call them shit? Some no, pagers. pagers. Who yeah. the fuck use pagers anymore? <laughs> you sent them some damn Nextel pagers. Yeah. <laughs> they said, this, this is the narrative they're pushing out there. Oh, well, yeah. they didn't want to use the phones because they could be tracked so easily. Yeah. Let's use the pagers because they can't track us with that. Yep. And then the Israelis put little little the, dynamite bombs in them. Yeah. And it blew up and killed dozens of people and injured 3,000. Mm -hmm. That's that. So them people over there are in, are in distress. Yeah. <laughs> over there in Ukraine, that's yeah, distress. They're just dist yeah. Russia playing with them. Yeah. Dumping bombs on their asses. That's distress. Yeah. Dist and, you know? Distress. Um, the word stresses in it. They're, I mean, and they're stressed out. Over here in America, they're stressed out because motherfuckers can't find no job. Yep. The tent cities are getting bigger. Yep. You know? A lot of y'all want to go into that van life, mm -hmm. but y'all finding out that you can't just park the van anywhere you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> right. It ain't easy. Yeah. And then these little jobs that you're getting, a lot of y'all went to college, spent all that money. I personally know two guys that went to college, went to big colleges mm -hmm. that I work with. And they got these, they got some fat, one dude's starting salary was something like $120,000. He's a young kid, yeah. 20, early 20s. That was a starting salary. The other dude, mm -hmm. same thing. Yeah. Both of them got laid off at the same time. They work at two different companies. Oh, shit. Both <laughs> their asses got laid off. And then my man told me, so I'm like, you know, I'm picking his brain. It's like, well, because yeah. he came back to work where I'm at. Because, you know, they, 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 they ain't got them pushy jobs no more. <laughs> so, so I asked him, I was like, yo, um, so, which, I mean, you got the know-how. Couldn't you just find another one? Mm -hmm. He was like, it ain't that easy because the competition is high. Mm -hmm. If everybody went to school and took for that same shit, you're all competing against each other. Yeah. Then it, with this new um, technology, 
with chat GPT and his yeah, other shit. AI and shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the way he broke it down to me, because I, I, I'm not really computer savvy, but the way he broke it down to me was you could send out to like 2,000 jobs. You could send out your resume out simultaneously to like 2,000 jobs. Right. But then everybody else is doing the same shit too. Yeah. And then the, the company you're sending it to got their own version of their shit to send out to all of y'all and say no. <laughs> So yeah. it's like a, so mother and these young these younger generation they ain't used to hell. No, they're not used to going through straight straight up distress. Right. So they bugging a lot. They're gonna start committing suicide. Yep. You know. Uh, yeah. They what they say. Uh, depression is at an all time high. Of course. Suicide. Shit. If I was a nigga in the world acting like y'all in the same have the same brain waves like you people, I'll be stressed out. Like I told his brother, I was went through some shit today with you know, yeah. with these fucking vehicles, yeah. trying to get the shit registered for the past month and going, you know, they basically didn't yeah. give me the run around, run around. Mm -hmm. I told his brother, I told his brother, I said, yo, I see why at the DMV the, the security guards got guns, yeah, because a nigga could go buck what, you know, all that, all that, all that bullshit, yeah. that red tape, yeah, crazy that. shit. But we don't get all fucked up because we understand it, man. We understand yeah. that this is hell. The so-called yeah. white man is Satan, and we're in hell. Yeah. And, we, and we also yeah. understand that our Lord and Savior is about to deliver us up out of this hell. That's right. So throw all your darts you want, Satan, you know? That's it. Yeah. Why, why could we? Our rock is Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh That's right. Go ahead. It says, um, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. The you sea know? and the waves roaring. You know, the sea The sea represents what? The people. Yep. The people. People, yep. You know, nations and tongues. That's, that's in our, that's Revelation. Revelation 14, I think. Or, or, I yeah, think. Matter 24. of fact. Let me see. Uh, i get it real quick. That's when he breaks down the um breaks down about the 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 the, the, the um the, 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 um the whore that sat in the midst of many waters. Yeah. That's when the angel broke down what I was talking about. Jeez. While you're getting that, I'll finish up where you was left at, left off at, brother. So it says, the sea and the waves roaring. So we're going to prove what the sea is talking about. It ain't talking about when you go to the beach and you're watching the sea. Oh, shit, look at that. that waves, those are some big. You know, let me break out my surfboard. No, I ain't talking about that, man. <laughs> All right. So it says, I mean, when a brother gets the scripture, I'll come back to that. So verse 26, men's hearts failing them for fear. Fear, man. That's what's coming to this place. Men's heart failing for fear. Meaning you're going to get hard. You're going to drop dead from fear, man. Mm -hmm. and, for, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Yep. Right? Which are in different the different kingdoms. Yep. By those missiles. Will be shaken. Yeah. And the heaven ain't talking about up up in the uh where the Lord is. That's talking about the rulerships on this earth. That's right. They're gonna be shaken. Get the scripture? Come on, I got you. Bring it. Uh Revelation 17. So I'll, I'll, I'll read the scripture again and make it to to, okay. to bring in the So this is the bottom part of um Luke 21 and 25. It says, um I'll read the whole verse. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Right. So this is Revelation 17 and 15. And he said, and he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth. And the whore is talking about who? America. America. Yep. Because right now NATO, which is the beast carrying the whore. But there's another prophecy that tells you what? That tells you that the beast shall hate the whore. And right. we are fast approaching that time. And, and they're going to burn her with fire. And they're going to burn her with fire. So we're fast approaching that time. Read that, bro. It says, The waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So those waves, those roaring waves, all right? Yeah, those can, the roaring sea. That's the uproars of the people. Those are the peoples, nations, yeah. tongues, all right? Yeah. And they're roaring right now. All yeah. worldwide. Worldwide. You have all these different demonstrations. Um, killings. Killings. You know, um, 
um, what do you call that? Um, like anarchy. When they yeah. Going against their government. Right. Insurrection. You know, insurrection. Yeah, that shit at back January 6th, 2021, 20, whatever the year that was. Mm -hmm. That was not an insurrection by definition. No. You people don't even know that. Yeah, that's probably a, a lot of you people. That's the first time y'all ever heard that word. That, that was that is not an insurrection. That was a false flag. <laughs> an insurrection will be more like the um, Civil War back in the 1860s. Right. Okay. Which is about to happen again <laughs> in a bigger way, and that was a bloody ass war. Yeah. Don't take my words for it. Watch documentaries on it. Do your own due diligence. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I might watch it just just to put me to sleep tonight. You know, that's coming back. Yeah. So you got anything else you wanted to bring out, bro? No, that's it. All right. So with that, brothers, that we pray that you were exhorted and exhorted in the spirit. All right. And edified. We, pr we pray that this was an edifying video. All right. I want to say all praises and honor and glory is due to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Bashem Rakat Wadash, Shalom. Shalom. Akim. Hum Yashrala.